Good enough. The Hierophant in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse. And the Three of Wands. Okay. Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. I feel like this is your energy heading out of February into March. The Ace of Swords in reverse is a very cutting energy. And I'm not saying that you're like this all of the time, but there's some circumstance in your life that you have been dealing with or going through facing or confronting that you have simply had enough of. And I feel like it has something to do with this Hierophant in reverse card because this is facing him. And the Hierophant in reverse to me, I feel like you want to be cutting out some sort of structure that you've been relying on or outside authority or outside force that you don't want to have to listen to anymore. You don't want to have to answer to anymore because you are moving on. You have different plans. You're looking out over the horizon, Scorpio, on new dreams. I feel like you've set these, these either relationships, projects, plans, endeavors, jobs in motion already. And coming out of February... This energy feels like it's wrapping up. Like this is what you were going through towards the end of the month of February. And it's time to move on. And this feels good. Like compared to these two cards, um, you're wearing your red cloak. And you're, you're, you're looking into the near future in a very excited way, in an expectant way in a way that maybe you haven't gotten excited about this area of life or all of your life in quite some time. And it, this feels really refreshing to me compared to these energies because this situation is over and that's going to resonate and like fill in the blank because this is a general reading Scorpio and it's going to apply differently to each of you. So, okay, the seven, I'm going to pull clarifier cards as I do on all of these. <laughs> so, whoever, this could be a person, this could be a, a male person that you're letting go of, that just, you wanted to work on projects with them and create something new and it just wasn't working out. It wasn't gelling for you to to be a team and in February I feel like you're finally cutting your losses and you're not you're not fighting for this relationship or this business partnership anymore you're looking off in a new direction <laughs> yeah at the star again is like what I was saying the star is amazing this new endeavor is a much better fit for you Scorpio and it could be a person, um, let's see what the March uh, cards say, but I feel like it's a whole new lifestyle that you're wanting to bring in and that you're committing yourself to, like finally, like you're putting your old past to rest. These old shitty relationships or these people who just didn't, that were just disappointing to you over and over and over and you kept giving them chance after chance after chance Scorpio and you finally reached your limit with this particular earth sign I, and I feel like it, it is an earth sign with the knight of pentacles in reverse here on the ace of swords and you're done with them you're cutting them out of your life and based on how they prove to you because they feel like over and over and over they would say they're sorry and they would say that they were going to make it up to you and re-promise. And again, I feel like the chances that you've given them are done. Um, 
and they just they weren't able to prove to you in a material action way that they were going to be true to their word and i feel like it hurt your feelings i'm sorry scorpio that sucks but you know what life is short and some friendships and partnerships aren't meant to last for the duration of life. They come into our life for us to learn lessons through, and some of, sometimes those lessons can feel hard and a little bit heartbreaking. Um, but again, because life is so short, and you know that, that, you're not wasting your time on these people anymore. You only want to associate yourself with the people who have hearts of gold, the people who are, are stand up people who do what they say they're going to do and by when, and if they can't, they communicate that. And that's called integrity. And I know Scorpio that, that you, you have a lot of integrity yourself and you hold yourself to a very high standard. And some people just don't operate in that way. Unfortunately, um, so I'm going to turn the March cards over for you. The Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Okay. Pull clarifiers right off the bat. Wow, lots of people here. The Knight of Swords, <laughs> the Queen of Wands, and the Two of Swords, and the King of Swords. Could we get any more court cards here? <laughs> Seriously. Okay. So I feel like this person is going, going to try to come back one more time. And you're not having it. Um, they're going to apologize. They're, they're going to give their sorry-ass excuses to you again. And you're moving in this direction. This She's very forlorn and... Finally, I feel like this person is going to be realizing what they've lost and really come back at you with a seemingly heartfelt apology and almost begging you to take them back. And I don't know that this is love, but it could be for some of you. Um, and they're going to show their vulnerability to you in a way that they haven't in quite some time. Um but it's not well received on your end. It's like, it's too late. So you're going to remain solid Scorpio through this situation. Um, she's not being affected. She's, she's staying very calm and in her center with the seeming decision of this way or this way. I feel like she's going to be dropping both of them and just sitting and standing her ground and not moving. She's not budging. There's not a lot of action. And especially with the Queen of Wands on her, hold these up so you can see them, in reverse, it's like you're going to be giving yourself the emotional space to grieve this loss. Uh, and I feel like it was a friend of yours, Scorpio, that you were trying to get some outer endeavor um, off the ground together, and they just weren't pulling their weight. Because um, I feel like you turn into, you continue with this Ace of Swords into the King of Swords, and with this energy still coming at you, you are standing your ground. I feel like these two swords then form the one solid, like she has a backbone. I feel like this is representing the two of swords and he's presenting it to the world. And not even in a way that he feels like he has to explain himself because you don't have to explain yourself of why you do the things that you do. People are going to want to know and bug you for answers. But I feel like through the energies of March, I don't feel like you want to give them 
the time of day or like you owe them anything because maybe you don't Scorpio. This is an interesting reading. Let's see what the energies say moving out of the end of March. Okay. Libra just got this card. So you have the Three of Cups in reverse, the Six of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Cups. I'll pull clarifiers right away. Hmm. So the Page of Wands, okay. The Six of Cups and the Moon in reverse. Two moons here. I feel like in your upsetness, Scorpio, you're going to want to get drunk. Don't do that. I mean, do that if you want to. But make sure you're in a safe environment. Because when you do, I feel like a foolish side of you might come out that wants to play and maybe be a little vengeful or get some revenge on whatever happened in the past that you're grieving and it, I don't feel like it's going to be the best decision. So don't send that drunk text or drunk dial the person. <laughs> in. Um, it's, just, it's not a wise choice. However, this is a totally different energy. With the, with the Six of Swords moving on to what feels better to you. I want you, Scorpio through March and moving into April to surround yourself with the people who naturally feel like they get you and emotionally can support you and are on the same page with you, Scorpio, to give and receive in the way that you understand, in the way that feels necessary, in the way that feels nurturing. And I feel like you're moving into this energy. This situation is pulling you into the Six of Cups energy. Thank goodness. And I, and I do feel like it's associated with these cards up here of these new endeavors that you're going to be taking off and flying forward with without this person. And moving on, I feel like this can be a whole separate part of the reading down here. Oops. Move these up. Um, make sure you can see those with these six cards. So I feel like at the at the last full moon, because this is one and this is two, because there's two full moons in the month of March, you're going to be journeying through March from the first full moon into the second full moon towards the end of the month in a completely different direction, Scorpio, that, that really feels so much better. This is a card of moving on, and he's moving towards these, these Six of Cups. I hope I'm not moving the cards too fast. You can focus on them. So keep in your heart and keep in the forefront of your mind every morning when you wake up. Um, say an affirmation, and even throughout your days, keep reminding yourself what you're excited about and keep your eye on the prize Scorpio however that is speaking to you whatever that prize is for you in your life maybe you're moving on to maybe you're moving maybe you're you're completely moving to a different city or a state or a country and throughout the month of March it's this process of of moving on and letting go of these old projects and situations and people that just haven't panned out and are not worth your time anymore and you're sticking to your guns here with the King of Swords, no matter what they have to say, because you've heard it all before, haven't you? <laughs> it's like, yeah, talk to the hand and you're, I don't even feel like you want to engage with them. Um, unless you get drunk, but don't do that because it's not going to be fruitful. It's not going to get you what you want. So I want to pull an Archangel Michael card for you from the Doreen Virtue deck. Scorpio for an additional message for March. And 
Again, this is general reading, so please do, if this is your, your sun sign, watch your moon and rising sign videos as well. I have been watching these videos and following particular people on YouTube for years, and I always like to watch all three since they are general readings, and you sort of piece it together. You pick out, oh, that's resonating, and that's not, and then you hear a repeat message in your moon sign, and then it's reconfirmed in, in sort of a different way in your rising sign, and you begin to paint a picture, and the colors start swir swirling together to create more of a wholesome picture of the monthly energies for you. Okay. You're on the right path. Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make helpful life changes. And I feel like you are with the Three of Wands and the Star card here. Moving into March, you have a vision. Keep that vision in the forefront of your mind because that is the right direction to be moving. Scorpio, I'll read to you from the book. Let's see. You've gotten this card as a validation that your thoughts and actions are in the right direction toward achieving your life's purpose and inner peace. You've been carefully listening to your guidance from within, and the angels applaud you for following it faithfully. Although you may not clearly see what's up ahead, the angels want you to know that they're guiding and protecting you every step of the way. Keep up the good work. So the possible specific meanings it's pointing to is it's a good time to begin a new project, start a business, pick up a book, or make a positive lifestyle change. Listen to your inner guidance, even if others don't understand. And trust that you'll be financially supported as you move forward with your plans. Perfect. Again, I do see you moving through this transition from full moon to full moon again throughout the month of March towards your new plans and the angels have your back. Archangel Michael just confirmed that. So trust Scorpio that you are on the right path. Leave behind the people that aren't either trustworthy or have the highest integrity and surround yourself with the people who love you. Old, the old friendships, the sturdy ones. 